growing up for like a year and a half. A year and a half you've been growing it? Yeah, a year and a half. That's crazy. It's time for change. So all the way from Bridgeport, yeah. Connecticut, we're gonna we're gonna chop it all off. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> YouTube, what's going on guys? We got another haircut tutorial for you and this one is going to be a major transformation. My man's hair was a year and a half worth of growth and I just put a number five guard on there or no, yeah, num is that number five? Yeah, it's a number five guard and we just gonna, we just gonna mold through it because that's what he said he wanted on top, a number five, all the way even and then give him a taper. And I know there's gonna be people mad that he got that he cut his hair. There's like there's like a a group of y'all that show up to all the transformation videos said he looked better before the haircut. But that's not the point. He wanted to cut, and we're gonna show you guys how to give him a blurry, clean, sharp taper while I'm cutting all this hair down. Alright, so once it's cut down, I like to comb it really, really well and then go through it again with that number five just to make sure it's nice and even. And I'll use a whole lot of crisscross patterns so I can kind of go um, across the grain and against the grain um, as we're cutting it. Now, because this hair has been so long um, for so long, um, you know, it's probably best if I would have shampooed his hair and laid it down. Um, but I'm just going to wet his hair and blow dry it and uh, hope that that'll help because you can see his hair is like spiking up like crazy. And then you can see the scalp of his hair because it's all his hair is sticking up, right? Now, um, his hair, his neckline was shaved up pretty high before we even started this haircut because he was getting that trimmed beneath all that hair. Um, so I'm just gonna use that as my initial guideline for the taper in the back. And let's start the taper on the side. So we started the initial guideline. Now we got the blade all the way open. Now we have it all the way closed and we're opening it little by little until it's blended. All right, the next step is gonna be that number one guide open. And right beneath that, we're gonna use our half guard open and close it as needed. And if you're following along with the, the color guide on the bottom left corner, that should help you stay on track. So at this point, we're using our number three guard, and um, that's just to try to blend into that um, the bulk to that like the number five, right? That we did around the head, and then underneath that, we're going to use our one and a half guard, as you see here, and close it as needed. Now, if there's still a little bit of bulk there, you can drop down to that one guard and open and close it as needed until you feel like the blend is spread enough. If it's not spread enough then you're gonna have to detail a little bit more a little bit more all right and that's pretty much what I was doing here is just detailing it all right let's start the back and pretty much the same steps man blade all the way open you can get away with spreading each of the guidelines a little bit more in the back depending on how high the taper you want but the same steps Tito, you snapping on this beat, cuz. As you can see, the hat, no, nah, as you can see, the half guard is, um, is same steps, right? It's all the way open, and that's doing a lot of the blending from the one open to the blade open, right? So if you don't have this guard, make sure you get one. They're usually gray, um, in color. I just got this one. Um, kind of unique because it kind of helps with the color guide um, chart on the bottom left corner. So right back to that number three guard and underneath that we're skipping the number two doing the one and a half guard I believe and closing it as needed. Oh nope I didn't skip it this time. Well I did skip it. So one and a half guard and now this should do the most of the blending from the three to the one guard open. Sometimes you can get away with skipping that too. 
sometimes sometimes you you you'll try to skip it and have to go back to that number two anyways during the detailing portion The back here, I feel like I, you know, I had to go over the same spots a bunch of times just because his hair growth pattern was kind of, kind of, you know, it's, it's, especially when you have a, a, you tie your hair in a bun a bunch, you could be pulling hair upwards, you know what I'm saying? And so the hair growth pattern, if it's, if it's not used to laying down, it's going to be a little funky. All right. And so we'll go ahead and start the same steps on this side. I'm just going to be quiet and let you guys follow along. This right here is crucial. Make sure that number three guard is be, be, um, behind the ear as well, because that area is gonna grow out the fastest. Now, because his hair is growing down, you want to be careful whether you're pushing that lineup or not. Sometimes we can we can be as as natural as possible and still keep a sharp line, but we don't want to be too natural when the hair is growing down because it's gonna grow out so quickly because it's not his real hairline. It's just kind of like hair hanging overlapping his real hairline, right? Usually I don't use this trimmer for the neck just because it, it irritates, it's so sharp, but uh, I had a good feeling like he was going to be straight using it on him. Alright, so if you notice, I switched over to my, my wall clippers with the Filthy Blends mod, and I'm just using this to detail after we, we did the C cup and we lined it up. That's what I did. So, And then if you notice here, I was kind of freehanding hair that's sticking up. And so I decided to just put on my one and a half guard and go with the grain right at his hairline. Since the hair is kind of just sticking up, um, it's a really great way to lower it while keeping it dark and giving a nice, you know, allowing 
his hairline to take a nice sharp line. Alright, so I did switch over to my silver FX's if I'm going to be working on his face and he wanted to keep his, his beard or whatever. You know, some of you guys are going to say some things about it, but he's letting it grow and it's, it's, once I put the razor on it, I feel like it's going to look, it's going to look decent. But my guy is young, I think he's only like 16 or something like that. So he's, he's an aspiring barber. He came from, um, from, from Connecticut to come check out your boy. He was on vacation in Florida and he said, why not? So I really appreciate it. And I need models, man. Looking for more models. If you are interested in being a model, the haircuts are free. You can email me at basio at 245.com and, you know, inquire about getting that free YouTube cut because I can use as many models as possible. His beard kind of naturally looks like it, it's blended like it's fading into the bottom and i think that's why it looks it looks good it's still a struggle beard but it's straight and i'm not gonna put color on the struggle beard because then it's just gonna look like he's he's trying too hard but we are going to enhance we're gonna do a subtle enhancement around his hairline and you can get the you can get no drip on tomb45.com which is the the temporary color that we put on him it's waterproof but it will come off if you scrub enough um i've had clients i've been able to keep it in my hair for five days um because i maintain it but if you're constantly rubbing your hairline or you're you're scrubbing when you take a shower it will come off if you just rinse in the shower it'll stay on yeah and i feel like it's the i feel like the cut is coming together the next time I cut him, if I cut him, like the next time if I was to cut him, it would come out better because his hair is going to be trained, it's going to be laid, um, it's going to be used to being this short, um, but we did the best we could for what we had. And I'm using my shears now with, the, with his hairline because his hair is like, it's straight, so like, and the hair growth patterns are crazy, so it likes... Like some of the hair likes to overhang the hairline, so I just kind of tackle it with with the shears, with the scissors. And then the final touch, use the shaver, get it as tight as possible, add longevity to the taper, and just make it look that much more gradient. Man, from this angle, it's looking crazy. We haven't even put the razor on it, I forgot. So now let's put the razor on it and watch how this thing comes together. Making sure you're going across and against the grain to get it as sharp as possible. Alright guys, so this is the before, his hair was crazy long, and now we got the after. 
Yo, guys, take it for what it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the cut. You learned something. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe because we're dropping heat almost, almost all the time. <laughs> and uh, if you like the cut, please do smash the like button. I'll see you guys in the next video. And if you missed the last vlog, go check it out, man.